say your name again? Mavuso. Mavuso. Yeah, just to add on his words. Um, I would say that the history of black people's struggle in South Africa is that of land. We have been dispossessed. Um, and today, the diverse effects of that land dispossession, um, in fact, the diverse if effect of the or of land dispossession ripples from past to present and in Kailicha for example it finds expression through backyard dwellers but now in that particular context in KZN it is a matter of elites um, black elites that have been incorporated into the continuing encroachment of black people in South Africa um, but now just to comment on the film, well, I get the part, or rather I get what is happening in KZN, but now I would, after watching the film, this is what is in my mind. I think it's a bit reductive in the sense that it doesn't cover the the, 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 the entire narrative of the land struggle in South Africa. In fact, it just the part of it, it doesn't implicate the primary contradiction Sorry. of a neo-colonial society, which is now the presence of an oppressor nation and an oppressed nation. So now, what we've seen in the film, it's elites, black elites that have been incorporated into a program that is set to further dispossess our people. But now what it doesn't do is to implicate white families, most of, of, of who own most of the land in South Africa. So maybe now when producing or rather, I don't know if you have other films, but I think um, the film should capture the entire narrative you know, so that you can have a a broad discourse on, on this particular issue. Thank you so much.